This video reviews relative age and relative dating. The relative age of rock is its age compared to the ages of the other rocks around it. It does not provide an absolute age. For example, by looking at these two images, you could use relative dating to judge that the boy is younger than the older man. However, you would not know their exact ages. The absolute age of rock is the number of years that have passed since the rock formed. It is the actual age of the rock. For example, in 2014, if you knew this young boy was born in 2006, his absolute age would be eight years. The law of superposition is used to get the relative age of rock. The law of superposition states that in undisturbed horizontal sedimentary rock layers, the oldest layer is at the bottom, and each higher layer is younger than the layers below it. For example, in this image, layer A is the oldest, and layer B is the youngest. Index fossils can help show the relative age of rock. An index fossil is a fossil of an organism that is widely distributed and only lived during a geologically short period of time. The rock layer that the index fossil is located in must be the same age as the index fossil. Also, fossils can help show when organisms appear in the fossil record and when they went extinct. If we notice that no fossils of an organism appear in the rock layers anymore, the last layer the fossil appeared in is the last time the species existed. In this image, we can get the relative age of layer A by using the index fossil circled in red, because that fossil only existed in layer A. So if scientists knew the age of the fossil, they could determine the age of the rock. We also know it was extinct by the time layer B formed. Clues from igneous rock can help scientists to date rock. Igneous rock is formed through the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. Two clues that scientists use are extrusions and intrusions. An extrusion is an igneous rock layer formed when lava flows onto Earth's surface and hardens. An extrusion is always younger than the rocks below it. The images demonstrate extrusions. A hint to remember this is that an exit is a way out, and an extrusion goes out of the rock. Another clue that scientists use is intrusions. Intrusions um, are igneous rock layers formed when magma hardens beneath Earth's surface. An intrusion is always younger than the rock layers around and beneath it. The images demonstrate intrusions. The arrow points to the intrusion. A hint to remember this is an intrusion is in rock. Clues from faults can also help scientists to date the rock. A fault is always younger than the rock it cuts through. If the rock it cuts through did not exist, then how could a fault cut through it? The red arrow in the image uh, point to the faults. In this image, the circle layer, layer E, is an intrusion. The shaded layer, layer A, is the oldest layer. You can assume that layer B and C are older than layer E because layer E cuts through them. The order of these rock layers from oldest to youngest would be layer A, layer B, layer C, layer E, and last, layer D. Gaps in the geologic record and folding can change the position in which rock layers appear. An unconformity is a gap in the geologic record of rocks. An unconformity is caused by erosion. Erosion will cause the surface of new rocks to meet up with much older rock surfaces. This can be misleading because it will be difficult to date the rocks with certain layers missing. 
Forces inside Earth can fold rock layers so that a younger layer can end up on the bottom. This can also lead to issues with using relative dating to date rocks because they will not be in the correct order. The left side of this image demonstrates an unconformity. Erosion caused the rock layers on top to no longer appear. Therefore, when new layers were added, it would be difficult to date them. The right side of this image demonstrates folding. The folding of rock caused the layers to twist and appear to be out of order.